Hi guys, just give you a quick tutorial through here on how to use the multimeter. This is a Fluke multimeter, it's quite an expensive one, uh, I've had it for many years, but they typically have the same setup whichever ones you buy, whether you buy them for £10 at Maplins or uh, from RS or wherever. Uh, you usually have the common port which is got a black colour, which, uh, well, you can understand, you just put the black cable in. Then you'll have the two different amper measuring. So this is for current only. We do not need to worry about these. But you do need to go into the red one on this side with the red cable. With this setup, you measure voltages or resistance. As you can see, it'll have a ohm sign or um, a diode sign. So you can tell you, you can tell you which way round the, the current would be flowing otherwise. Uh, so the first one up here is for alternating current, then you have uh, a range of, sorry, alternating current to measure voltages, you will have your direct current voltage, your millivolts range, so this puts it into a more sensitive uh, circuit, your ohms, this one here just tells me whether I've got a short circuit or not, and then you start going into the current measurements, whether they be direct current or AC. Um, so. In our case, we're going to set it to the ohms. Uh, it automatically goes, mine automatically goes into the mega ohms measurements. So effectively, we've got open circuit. As soon as you put the two pins together, that will drop down to zero. All right, so what we're measuring right now is roughly the resistance within the cables that we're measuring with. Um, in uh, the case of the Sigma, let's put this one on its stand. Very simply, and because I don't want you to risk the board, we have said that you best take the driver out. The way that the the little chappy, the little integrated circuit works um, in terms of regulating its voltage is its uh, sorry its current to the stepper motors is through this resistor, which works like a potentiometer. It's a very high resistance, so that you only ever get microvolts or mi milli, uh, millivolts into the, the chip. Now, with the, the chip out, there is no voltage going to it, which means that this is not risk, there's no risk of shorting it. Hence, we can use our precision screwdriver, a nice small one, to tweak the values. So I'll put that down here, and we will put the pin touching the middle pin up here, and the side pin here. And you can see that we get a difference of uh, 5.46, 5.44. The in the kilo ohms range. Now my brother Nick will tweak those values and you will see that the value will change. So it goes down anywhere from ohms up to, I think this was in the, a 10 kilo ohms or a 20 kilo ohms um, resistor. Now in my case, this potential, the, sorry, my uh, multimeter will actually auto range. In your case, you might find that it doesn't auto range, and you'll need to change the um, the dial position depending on what kind of multimeter you have. So, for the values that we would like you guys to use, um, we'll just turn it down until we find it 5.44, 5.46, and that's plenty low enough not to heat up your uh, your Bontex. There we go. 5.44 on the dot. And then you can put the thing back in and jobs are good enough.